Today's video is a walkthrough of the different models for Spectrum receivers. So let's get started. When choosing a Spectrum receiver, there's a couple of things I consider which we'll go over in this video. One, how many channels do I need? The model numbers will tell you, starting with AR, that's an air receiver, and the number after AR will tell you how many channels. AR6, which is these three, six channel. AR8, which is this one, eight channel. And AR10 is 10 channel. Second, do I need telemetry features? When the model number ends with the letter T or in a bind and fly, TA, that means it's a telemetry receiver. Third, do I need AS3X and save features? Each model of receiver is available in a non AS3X and safe feature setup. For example, if you have an AR620 and you want a AS3X and safe setting in a similar receiver, you go with the AR630. Now that leads me into there is kind of a in-between model between the AR630 and the next one up, which is AR6610T, that has telemetry features. The AR631 is similar to the 630, but it has a external antenna as well. So that's something that you may consider because that will give you a little bit more flexibility on mounting options because with an external antenna lead, you'll be able to move around things such as a battery pack, bundle of wires, or a carbon fiber wing spar. The next one up is the AR6610T. That is a telemetry receiver without AS3X and safe settings. If you decide you like that receiver, but you want AS3X and safe settings, that's the one to the left of it, the AR637T. The next model up, is AR8020T. That is similar to the 6610T in the sense that it's a non-AS3X and safe receiver. However, you get two additional channels. The next one above that, if you want a eight channel receiver and you want AS3X and safe settings, you need the AR8360T. So then the last but not least, you get into the 10 channel receivers that have just been released. There's some additional features that the 10 channels offer. If you look at one of my previous video, the initial review of the AR 10 channel receivers, I go through the added differences because it's not just a 10 channel receiver. The first one to talk about is the AR 10100T. That's the same as this receiver you see on the test bench without AS3X and safe settings. And then AR10360T is the top 10 channel because it has the AS3X and safe settings. Now that we've talked about the model lineup from top to bottom, one additional thing you may consider is if you wanna run a external satellite receiver, which we have on the AR10360T. Not every receiver has that capability for a satellite receiver, such as the AR620. This runs off the SRXL2 ports. You don't have an SRXL2 port on the AR620. If you appreciate the video or learned something new today, go ahead and push the like button. If you wanna see future video, subscribe to the channel while you're here. I appreciate y'all watching and I'll see you on the next one.